if it were truly about honoring Barack Obama's legacy, you would be more desperate to travel to Kenya than Cuba. Ever since Donald Trump decided to reverse uh, Obama's Cuban policy, many in the black community have become desperate and are going to damn near revolt and rebel against Trump's reversal. I mean, many are to the point now that if Trump said you cannot catch a direct flight from Atlanta to Cuba, many are going to dig an underwater tunnel from Miami to Cuba. Many are going to swim from Miami to Cuba. Instead of just catching a flight to Mexico and then entering Cuba via Mexico, many want to just rebel and complain and whine just because they feel that Trump is, is reversing Obama's legacy. But again, for some odd reason, if you're so pro-Obama, if you love Obama that much, why are none of you guys desperate to go to Kenya? I mean, he's Kenyan, or half Kenyan. His dad is Kenyan. Obama's been to Kenya. But for some reason, his family's still in Kenya. But for some reason, instead of being desperate and militant and wanting to risk it all, damn near risk your life. And in fact, you don't even have to do that. You guys are on Facebook bragging on how militant and desperate you're going to be. And how you're going to revolt and damn near risk your life just to go to Cuba. All because Obama said you can. And all because Trump said no you can't. Versus going to Nairobi where all you have to do, you can catch a flight right now to Nairobi. Pay a $50 visa fee. And walk in the footsteps of Obama's ancestors. If it's truly about honoring the legacy of Barack Obama. But here are the dusty excuses that people are using for not going to Kenya and justifying going to Cuba instead. Dusty excuse number one. Many revolutionaries, black revolutionaries, Gain support from the Cuban government. For Fidel Castro. Example, Malcolm X. We can't even get you guys to show up to Malcolm X Day at the park. Freaking Malcolm X daughter. Okay, was asking for donations. For I think there's a Malcolm X library or school in New York. And we can't even get you guys to do donate to that. But you want me to believe that you're going to Cuba to celebrate the life of black revolutionaries like Malcolm X. That's a lie. Stop lying. That's the excuse number two. Afro-Cubans are connected to a indigenous African culture. Some people use the uh, religious Santeria, which is somewhat like voodoo. We can't even get you guys to celebrate African culture in America. So you want us to believe that you're going to go to Cuba to celebrate African culture. I bring up voodoo. 99.9% 9, of black people run. But these same black people want me to believe that you're going to go into Cuba to celebrate and participate in Santeria. That's a damn lie, and you know it. That's the excuse number three. And I've covered this before. Since there are black people in Cuba, uh, you don't have to go to Africa because Africa is everywhere because of the diaspora. So wherever black people are, that's Africa. I want you to go to a pro-Chinese person here in America and say, hey, 
you don't have to go to China to the motherland. All you have to do is go to Chinatown in New York and that is good enough because there's Chinese people in New York and Chinatown in New York replaces China. And just, I want to see the stupid look they give you. Like, what are you talking about? In fact, better, better yet, you don't have to go to Cuba because there's Cubans in Miami. There's Cubans in Miami. A ton of Cubans in Miami. So since there's Cubans everywhere, there's Cubans in Miami, why go to Cuba? Why? I mean, these same people are so desperate to go to Cuba. If you tell them like, hey, if they say, hey, I'm going to China, you don't have to go to China. You can just go to China, Chinatown, New York. Oh, man, they ain't China. That's not the real China. But if you tell them, hey, you can just go to, won't you go to Kenya? You know, and then they tell you, I don't have to go to Kenya. I mean, I can just go to Cuba because the African diaspora replaces Africa for some dusty reason. And there's black people in Cuba, so that suffice. And you tell them, no, that's not true. They will argue with you. On how Cuba is Africa and how you don't have to go to Africa or Kenya. So again, people were offended when I said the real reason why people are so desperate to go to Cuba is because it's a fad like FUBU and baggy jeans, cheap cigars, old school cars, and, for, and honoring Obama's non-legacy. But my thing is if you cared so much about honoring Obama's non-legacy, you would just go to Kenya. In fact, you would be more desperate and militant to get to Kenya because Obama is Kenyan or half Kenyan. His dad is Kenyan and his family are still in Kenya. If that were, if that were the truth, you want to honor Obama's legacy, go to Kenya. I, I would go to Kenya before I go to Cuba. If it's truly about Obama's legacy. But again, it's about being popular, about being part of a fad, taking pictures with cigars in your mouth, leaning against um, old school vehicles. When you, you just, if you want to lean up against an old school vehicle with a cigar in your mouth, I mean, they, they have old school car shows everywhere in America. You can just show up to, and then there's always somebody selling a Cuban cigar somewhere. They got them somewhere on the black market. So again, if you were that, if you want to honor Obama's legacy, if you're that serious about honoring Obama's legacy, you would be militant and desperate to go to Kenya. You would be more desperate to get to Kenya than you would Cuba. Follow me on social media. Search for Huru on, on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, or Facebook. Go to www.dynastyfair.com. Check out our digits, African art, jewelry, fashion, and accessories. Go to search for huru.com. Learn more information on the documentary shooting. And then go to amazon.com. Search the name Dinah Samir. Buy a book. I've written several of them, so please support and buy one. Again, stop lying about, you know, you the, the our militant black leaders went to Cuba. Because you don't even celebrate our militant black leaders here in America. You can't even sh you won't even show up to Malcolm X Day in the park. Stop lying about the indigenous African religion because when I say voodoo, you run, but you want to tell us that you're gonna go to Cuba to learn Santeria. I mean, if that's the case, if you were that serious about indigenous African religion, I mean lifestyles that you didn't want to leave and go to Africa, you're better off going to South Carolina and seeing the Gula Geechee. You want to sit here and tell me you want to, it's all about Santeria when you're scared shitless of voodoo. And again, this whole concept, I don't know where it came from, that the diaspora replaces Africa is not true. Dinah Samir, till next time. Subscribe. I'm out.